evening. I'm Ashley Rowe in for Keith Radford tonight. There is progress on a local project involving golf legend Jack Nicklaus. Nicholas and his team are designing a golf course off Hopkins Street in South Buffalo and redesigning the course at Delaware Park. Private donations will fund the $23 million project. Today, stakeholders surveyed the Hopkins Street site to better understand its strengths and weaknesses. I think they also wanted to see how hard the course is going to be. We're also learning a prominent local artist has been commissioned to document this part of Buffalo's history. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui has more on that part of the story. I gather all of these images and I'm going to play with it in my brain and I'm going to start working things. Valentino Dixon already has big plans for his latest project. He's been commissioned to be the official artist of the Jack Nicklaus golf course designs in Buffalo. This right here, I'm just taking it all in because I got some cool ideas. Dixon spent 27 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. A judge vacated his conviction after the then prisoner received international attention for his lifelike drawings of golf courses. I thought it was fitting and proper and indeed absolutely indispensable to ask Mr. Dixon to be part of this. Last month, former First Lady Michelle Obama bought Dixon's drawing of the 12th hole of the Augusta National Golf Club as a Christmas present for former President Barack Obama. Obama's post about Dixon's art and his backstory went viral. Dixon will now be tasked with drawing Buffalo's Frederick Law Olmsted Parks, the South Buffalo parcel as it exists today, and when complete, the Jack Nicklaus Signature Public Golf Course. You think that's bigger than drawing for the president? Of course it is. This is a part of history. I dreamed about something like this when I was in prison. Dixon has been asked to design two drawings, but he says he already has something else in mind that we can't reveal just yet. His work will eventually be exhibited at local galleries. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.